I'm here with Sonia Bearhawk and she's working on a wonderful project called the Rain Garden Project at Perkins School for the Blind as part of the Watertown Community Environmental Foundation grant. So thank you for being here. You're welcome. And uh, tell me a little bit about your project. Um, well, it's a kind of stormwater management, um, and basically it's a drainage uh, garden. Mm -hmm. um, so it's a deep um, pit filled with gravel mm -hmm. and pea stone and sand, and then a composted loam, and then it's planted with plants in it. The idea is for excess water running off parking lots or hard surfaces mm -hmm. to infiltrate the system thereby cleaning the water because it goes through the layers of sand, mm. pea stone, and gravel. And mm. as it goes through the system, um, it's cleansed of the you know, petrol chemicals or shavings of metals that come from the brake pads of cars mm. and um, various different um, pollutants that come off the tar. Or it's just a system that holds the water um, the idea behind it being that the water is um, held on the site more so that it recharges the aquifer of the actual site instead of letting it flow into the storm water drains. Mm -hmm. So in this way, you're recharging the site, keeping the water on the site instead of letting it run into the storm drains, which um, when, when polluted water runs into the storm drains, it ends up in the Charles River which ends up in the ocean. Mm -hmm. And then you get various system problems from that, some of which could be algae bloom mm -hmm. in the ocean, mm -hmm. like what's happening on the beaches these mm -hmm. days, bacterial changes in the water. So this is a small, really small way to directly impact the environment by an instantaneous change of cleaning the water right on the site and, keep, and holding the water there instead of shipping polluted water off into the storm drains. So this is the end result of the rain garden project. So we have an aesthetic looking garden. What happens is that the rain, when it rains, it comes flooding off this parking lot and goes into these little um, cutouts and that directs the water right into the garden. <clears throat> Topsoil is um, composted loam and sand with hardwood chips and the sand helps the water to drain right down into the second uh, layer of sand, two inches of sand, and then down into the gravel. And because we have this like um, holding pit, the water stays in here until it fills up and then it runs off, which is why we built the second part over here where there's gravel and another garden. So this holds the second part of the runoff. This, the water just runs right off the top when these pits are filled and it goes into this two and a half foot deep pit of gravel. Um, in a homeowner situation, you wouldn't have to do that. Um, we just did it here because of the sheer volume of water that we have coming off this parking lot. But it can be a much smaller garden and much easier to manage. So the plants that are used here are things like cranberry. These are awesome little cranberries and they were happy as soon as they went in the ground. Echinacea. These are swamp azaleas. They're in bloom right now. That's a sumac, a shrub sumac. And this is a simple dogwood shrub. These are all really hardy plants. That's a Japanese white snowbell tree. And we have blueberries over there, all of which have had berries. And um, there's also a dutsia uh, shrub. These are very hardy. And there's a sand cherry back there, very hardy, and will take both the wet feet and the dry water once they're established. So the Watertown Community Foundation um, granted us $5,000 to do several gardens. Um, we've pretty much finished one whole garden, um, and we're in the process of building the second one. And um, it's allowing us to, to do the whole thing as far as from renting um, the mini excavator to buying the plants and um, whatever composted materials and things that we need to buy from nurseries. So. It's pretty exciting and, and I have such a strong feeling about how important and what a quick um, fix this is to a huge problem. Mm. I, I think it in, as far as the ecology goes, this is actually one of the ways that you can make a really simple um, adjustment that will really make a difference as far as um, a, an initial and immediate impact on the environment. Great. Well, thanks, Sonia.
Thank you. All right.